Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Mills Plastic. We're going to have a look today at the rebuilt electronics bay from my Voron 2.4 that I laid out using the Physis Tech uh, EMS frame. EMS stands for Electronics Management System. And so let's have a look at how this turned out. All right, so here we have the frame that's still laid out on my bench, but we can see that I've added some uh, wire management and uh, I still haven't finalized everything. I'm still printing the lid actually for that last wire channel up there. And I haven't wired up the motor wires yet because I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and do that until the um, you know printer is mostly assembled and wire up the motors to make sure the wire is of the right length. Uh, but we can take a look and see um, how this turned out. So I'm gonna turn the power on here. I do have this uh, connected, although it's powered down at the moment. So let's see what happens when we do our power on self-test. And it has current. Oh, those lights lit up. Let's give it a moment to boot through. Hopefully we should see everything um, all good here in just a moment or two. Now I have um, hooked up the uh, Stealth Burner tool head. Um, this tool head uh, board is the Big Tree Tech uh, EBB USB. Uh, board. So it's an EBB uh, SB2209. So it's using the 2209 uh, TMC2209 driver um, to power the extruder, but um, it is USB versus CAN. And now we see my LEDs are um, cycling through a rainbow color. So uh, clippers initialized and we're, we're ready to go. Um, as I was mentioning about the tool head board, um, I decided, although I am quite comfortable and familiar with CAN bus, when I saw that this uh, board was available from Big Tree Tech, I decided to purchase one and uh, test it out. And this will probably be my main uh, board that I use in, in the Voron 2.4 going forward. Um, so far, it was really easy to set up, as you can imagine. It's just another USB connected MCU. Uh, so not a lot uh, of additional configuration needed. Uh, the one thing I do like about this board is it does have um, three USB 2.0 ports uh, on the board. So things like a nozzle cam, um, a um, inductive probe like a beacon or cartographer um, could easily be connected to those um, USB ports and not have to run USB cables back to the uh, electronics bay. So three of them. I don't know what I'll use the third one for. I'm thinking maybe I'll get a USB speaker and then I can have my Voron 2.4 kind of complain at me or whine when something goes wrong with a print. Um, tell me what you think about that idea. Um, see if I can find, source some small USB speakers that'll fit on the tool head. So there we have it. Um, everything, as I said, is, is laid out um, you know, the way I wanted it. Um, obviously my personal choice. This represents the rear of the printer. And so um, I do have the printer still on the rock and roll uh, feet. And so what I wanted was when I rolled the printer backwards in order to get access to the electronics bay, which I hope not to do too often, um, I wanted the uh, Octopus Max Easy Board here to be basically face up oriented correctly so that everything was easily accessible. Um, and I've got the Pi over here. Um, this is the driver board, the USB tool head board that drives the uh, 24 volt USB connection here. So it gets 24 volts and ground in from the 24 volt power supply and it gets, uh, connects to the Pi via USB and then passes the 24 volt and the USB data uh, signals through this cable, um, which then goes to the tool head on the other end. Uh, here we've got my 24 volt power supply. It's a Meanwell LRS 200, plenty uh, strong for what I need, uh, lots of power. And then over here I have the um, Meanwell LRS 148. So this will be 48 volts to power my X and Y motors. And I am going with an all wheel drive configuration here, thanks to a, a tiny shell script for his all wheel drive um, setup. And so I'm gonna be using that on the four, um, the four XY motors. Uh, and over here, I've got my SSR to power the bed. Uh, again, I haven't hooked up the bed yet, so still some work to be done. Uh, I've got these extra Wago clips down here. Um, this is your power distribution from mains. Um, but then I've got 
some extra Wago clips, which I might use to do a common ground, um, ground pooling, I guess. I'm not sure the proper term because I'm not an electrician. Uh, but yeah, basically set it up so that all of the grounds um, are at the same level. Um, I just haven't done that yet. So, but everything is functional for now. Uh, even the LEDs are working um, and I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm next step is to mount this underneath the deck and then go about putting on the Z drives, the feet, um, you know, wiring up the XY motors um, and then going from there. So that's it for today's video. Um, hope um, you enjoyed this look at the rebuilt uh, electronics bay. The nice thing about the setup, and I'm just gonna power it off here quickly. Um, you know, once everything's off, obviously you don't wanna do this during live power, but this is a one piece frame. And so I can you know, pick up and basically move it around. So I'm just gonna lift, lift. Um, I'll disconnect the live power here feed temporarily because I need to mount this on the frame anyway. It's on the, um, the skirt part for it. But once I disconnect that, I can pick up the frame and just drop it into the uh, bottom of the Voron frame and attach it. There's uh, screw holes around the edge here to attach it to the uh, printed parts that are uh, basically uh, separating this from the deck panel. So uh, that's the next step. And I hope to get that, uh, get to that hopefully later today. Um, I keep forgetting to look at the camera. So eventually I'll figure out that when I'm talking to someone, I should be looking at the camera, but it's hard when you want to see what you're pointing at. So um, all this newfound camera in my face thing that I'm not, uh, not very familiar with. I'm not camera shy, but I'm also not super comfortable in front of the camera. It feels weird talking to an inanimate object, uh, but maybe that'll change. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.